Hello everyone, I am Professor Sagar Dutre. Today uh, we will start the theory related to design of cam and follower. As we know that a cam is a mechanical member uh, which used to impart designed the motion of the follower by direct contact. The cam may be rotating or reciprocating whereas follower may be rotating reciprocating as well as oscillatory type of motion the complicated output motion which are otherwise difficult to achieve can be easily achieved by using this cam and follower mechanism cam are normally uh, used for automatic machines then uh, and ic engine machines machine tool application then uh, printing control mechanism and etc and also they are used in uh, manufacturing of die casting milling and punching press so as we know that also the cam is uh, related to use as a higher pair link mechanism and that higher pair link me mechanism uh, used to move links uh, spontaneously or periodically. The cam and follower mechanism also used by engineers for ensuring zero or minimum degree of error. This also de this device was uh, known in the third of century uh, by Hellenistic for water driven automata atoma. Uh, 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 again, it has been found that in the 4th century, this design is used for IC engine, IC engine for driving the valves. Apart from IC engine, uh, apart from a wall using, it can be used for IC engine timing system also. So moreover, in the automotive industry, cam and follower is used to drive fuel pump. Furthermore, then multiple cams are incorporated with a single shaft that is called as a camshaft. The mechanical mechanism is developed by intercorporating three members. For, that is a driving member called cam, frame that can be support cam and follower, and last one third member is a follower which guide by a frame and lastly the driven member that is known as a follower so cam frame and follower are the three basic members which is used in design now what is a cam cam is a rotating element that gives oscillating or reciprocating motion to the follower which is another uh, another element of this uh, machine by direct contact this part is mainly used to trans transform the motion from rotary into linear or another part of another part to the another part it is a part of a machine which can be a rotating wheel uh, an electrical wheel or a shaft that strike, uh, strikes a lever with uh, various points at its circular path. In steam hammer, an engineer can be use a cam as a simple tooth to deliver pulses to the power to a steam hammer. So normally from this application what we understood uh, to convert the rotary motion into reciprocating motion or oscillatory motion, we are using cam and follower mechanism. Now we have to understand different types of cam. So cam are basically classified into three categories. First, based on the shape, based on the follower movement, and based on the manner of constraint of follower. So we will discuss first according to the shape. So there are uh, four diagrams are shown over here. In the first, uh, first uh, 
classification that is according to the shape there are wedge or flat wedge and flat cams radial and disc cams spiral cams then cylindrical cams conjugate cams globoidal uh, globoidal cams and spherical cams so these are the seven different type of cams which we need to understand so first one wedge and flat cam so a wedge cam has a wedge that is shown uh, the w uh, from here you can look at here in the w sorry here here a simple wedge has been used in general uh, in a wedge cam uh, which can has a translatory motion because in this mechanism wedge is moving in a translatory motion and because of that translatory motion the follower is moving in vertical direction okay as shown in figure a so it can convert a horizontal movement of wedge into vertical movement of follower that is both same translatory movements in a simple example it can be shown in a uh, b uh, for in figure a it is shown with the knife edge follower and in bigger b it is shown with the ruler follower so such type of mechanism now here in figure a the wedge shape is a flat or you can say a proper straight line uh, proper so formed in figure b it is seen that it has a some curvature shape okay also that can be changed the uh, movement accordingly if you want to change uh, or we can uh, in uh, if you want to create a proper momentum of the cam and follower you properly design the proper cam profile okay so based on the profile we can uh, achieve a particular uh, output a spring is normally used uh, to maintain the contact between cam and follower okay uh, in figure c the cam is stationary and the follower follower constants or you can say a guide that causes the relative motion of cam and follower but instead of this wedge a flat plate with a groove can be used which is shown in figure d in the groove follower is held as shown in figure uh, this can be a positive drive uh, you can achieve a positive drive by uh, without using any spring for that the d type of follower or mechanism is used next one second one is a radial type or a disc type of cams uh, figure a and b is a uh, showing those type of cam the cam in a uh, cam in which the follower moves radially from the center of rotation of the cam is known as a radial or disc cam these radial cams are very popular uh, due to very simple in construction and very compact in construction simplicity of design and compactness in a construction because of this these are most popular cam of uh, we are using uh, in the uh, market uh, or you can say in the mechanisms third one spiral cam uh, figure 3 shows the spiral cam the spiral cam is a face cam in which a groove is cut in the form of spiral the spiral groove consists of teeth which messes uh, with the pin gear follower as shown in figure the velocity of follower is proportional to the radial distance of the groove from the axis of the cam 
the use of such cam is limited as the cam has to reverse the direction to reset the position of follower it uh, observe that it is used in a computer application so such type of uh, cams are generally used for uh, computer based application where we have to reset uh, normally in a mobile there is a reset button so and in that location it can be used so to re reboot or a reset uh, the process fourth one the cylindrical cam a cylindrical cam or a cylinder which has a circumferential counter cut on the surface rotate about the, its axis the follower motion can be two types in the first type a groove is cut on the surface of the cam and the roller follower has a constant or a positive oscillating motion which is shown in figure a in another type is an end cam in which the end of cylinder is working surface which is shown in figure b a spring loaded follower translate the, along or parallel to the axis of rotating cylinder the cylindrical cam also known as a barrel cam or drum cam fifth conjugate cams a conjugate cam is a double disc cam the two disc being kid together and are in a constant touch with the two rollers of the follower as shown in figure number 5 thus the follower has a positive constraint such type of cam is preferable when the requirements are low wear low noise better control of follower high speed and high dynamic loads etc so where the accuracy with the high speed high uh, where the high loads are there and we uh, required noiseless operation operation or uh, we need a vibrationless operation at that time we can use such type of cams then globoidal <coughs> cams the globoidal cam have two types of surface convex or concave as shown in figure number 6 the circumferential counter is a cut on the surface of the rotation of the cam to impart the motion of uh, to the follower which has a oscillatory motion the application of such cam is limited to moderate speed and where the angle of oscillation of the follower is very large last type of cam that is a sp spherical cam uh, in a spherical cam the follower oscillates about the axis perpendicular to the axis of rotation of the cam as shown in figure and we note that the disc cam the follower oscillates about the, an axis parallel to the axis of rotation of the cam a spherical cam is in the form of spherical shape and transmit motion to the follower as uh, the spherical uh, groove is cut with a particular shape over here you can look at here the spherical shape is cut and it is perpendicular to each other which is mentioned okay as the spherical uh, cam or a drum uh, spherical spherical is moving according to the movement of the follower can be occurred now next one according to the second type of cam that is according to follower movement so there are four follow three follower uh, basic three follower movements rise return rise second dwell rise return dwell third one is a dwell rise dwell return dwell okay uh, in a first 
there is an alternative rise and return of the follower with no period of wells and it is very limited uh, use in industry the follower has a linear or angular displacement in the first case in second case in such type of camp that is a dwell rise return dwell there is a rise and return of the follower after dwell this type of uh, is used more frequently than rise return rise type of camp third one dwell rise dwell return dwell it is the most widely used type of camp the dwelling of the camp is followed by rise and dwell but subsequent subsequently by return and dwell as shown in figure in the case of return of the follower is by a simple fall which is shown in figure d the motion may be known as a dwell rise dwell so in first it is uh, properly shown or you can say in figure number c it is properly shown that dwell rise dwell return okay but in the second case it is a dwell rise dwell and directly fall so it is directly cut in uh, or uh, directly come into the initial point next one according to the manner of uh, constant of the follower to reproduce actually the motion transmitted by the cam uh, to the follower it is necessary that the two remain uh, both are remaining in a touch uh, to all speeds and all the time because it has to be engaged properly otherwise the motion will not be transmitted the based on this the cam uh, are again classified based on the manner of constraint of the follower there are three types first preloaded cam second positive cam third gravity cam in preloaded the compression spring is used for the purpose of keeping contact between the cam and follower examples are flat and wedge type then spiral cylindrical and spherical these are the preloaded spring cams in a positive drive cam in this type the constant touch between cam and follower is maintained by using roller follower operated in the groove of cam the follower cannot go out of the groove uh, in the normal condition there are uh, examples flat radial spiral cylindrical and globoidal, uh, globoidal cam last one the gravity cam if the rise of cam is achieved by the rising surface of the cam and the return by the force of gravity or due to the weight of cam such type of uh, cam is called as a gravity cam simple example is a flat cam but uh, because of uh, uncertainty behavior of such type of cam it is not preferable into the industry next uh, type of followers so there are uh, basically the type of followers uh, or followers are classified according to the three segment first one is a say shape second one is a movement and third one is a location of line of movement so according to the first shape there are three types knife edge roller uh, roller follower and mushroom follower so in the knife uh, follower as shown in figure 1.e it is a quite simple in construction as per uh, shown in uh, figure a however it is used in limited as it produce a great wear of the surface of the point of contact because of that it is rarely used second roller follower it is widely used used cam follower and has a cylindrical roller, roller roller free to rotate about the pin joint as shown in figure b 
at low speed the follower has a pure rolling action but in a high speed sometime it has a sliding action also because of the high speed in case of steep rise a roller follower jams the cam and therefore in such cases it is not acceptable or not preferable third one there is a mushroom follower a mushroom follower has an advantage that it does not pose pause the problem of jamming in the cam however high surface stresses and wear are quite high due to deflection and misalignment if the fa uh, flat face follower is used which is shown in figure number c thus the uh, thus the disadvantage are reduced if the spherical face follower which is shown in a figure number d we can use instead of flat face mushroom follower next one according to the moment there are two moments reciprocating and oscillating in this type as a cam rotates the follower reciprocates or translate in the guides in oscillating uh, follower the follower is pivoted at a suitable point on the frame and oscillate at the cam as the cam makes a rotating motion according to the location of line of movement there is two type first one is a radial second one is offset uh, the follower is known as a radial follower if the line of movement of the follower passes through the center of the rotation of the cam and in offset follower the follower is known as a offset follower if the line of movement of the roller follower is offset from the center of rotation of the cam there are two difference if the uh, follower is following the center of axis then it is a reciprocating or otherwise sorry radial follower or otherwise it is known as a offset follower now next no next one the basic terminology of the cam okay while designing the cam we know we should know what kind of parameters we can uh, change or we can uh, has to be designed so first of all uh, there is a roller roller having pin then roller base is there that follower is there okay rather than that um, basic uh, terminologies are cam profile or you can say start with the base circle the, okay first one cam profile it is a surface area of cam where is the follower is going to touch so this surface pay follower ghoom raha hai usko kehte hain hum cam profile base circle it is the smallest circle of cam profile drawn from the center of rotation of the cam okay aapko ye uh, in the figure it is shown properly the base circle the base circle so here the base circle is shown so it is the smallest circle which we can uh, that is a cam profile the smallest cam profile which is can be drawn uh, and which can be rotated around the center of rotation of the cam then test point by the point we can test the cam profile that is called as a test point so here it is shown the test point then pitch curve the curve is generated if we assume that is assume the cam is fixed and the test point of the follower moves around the cam so this one we can find out this is called as a press a pitch curve so here we can draw a pitch curve so it can gives a perfect cam profile pressure angle it is formed between normal to the pitch curve and the line of motion of the follower next one it is here it is shown the pressure angle the pressure angle shown over here next one the pitch point as this the point of the pressure angle is a maximum so that is called as a pitch point 
Next one, pitch circle. It is the circle which passes through the pitch point. That is called as a pitch circle. Prime circle. This is a circle that is drawn tangentially to the pitch curve and concentric to the base circle. So here the prime circle is shown. Here the prime circle is shown. So this one is a prime circle which we can use. Now we need to understand the uh, importance or effect of pressure angle. How it can be effect. So basically for high value of pressure angle increases the horizontal forces acting on the follower as the as higher is the that is called as the side thrust this could possibly jam the uh, transmitting follower in its guiding wave so that's why if the value of pressure and uh, angle is increased uh, it could be uh, uh, it could be cause for jamming if the value of pressure angle is uh, what we can say uh, lower increases the weight of cam as the pressure angle increases the cam profile get, or you can say size of the cam get increases so to the control the size or uh, the control the size of cam the pressure angle plays a very important role because as the pressure angle reduces then the dimensions of the cam get increased and because of that the uh, bulkiness or the weight of the cam is get increased and because of that the inertial fo uh, forces are get increased usually the pressure angle should be a small as possible because uh, if you increases the, the pressure angle the size of cam get uh, reduced but it it is a possibility that it can be jammed to the system okay if the pressure can reduce by increasing the cam size it ca could be adjusted by offset in the designer the designer can select a acceptable maximum pressure angle and find the basic circle radius the maximum pressure angle used depending on the speed load and the place of application of the cam me mechanism in general condition if the cam speed is less than 30 rpm then the angle should be less than 45 degree and if the cam speed is greater than 30 rpm so the cam angle should be less than 60 degree now the most important thing the motion of the follower so here there are different motions which we can analyze by uh, in the cam and follower mechanism so basically there are a uh, few motions for simple harmonic motion then <clears throat> constant acceleration and deceleration motion that is what we also call as a parabolic motion then constant velocity motion and last one is a cycloidal motion so one by one we can uh, see uh, in uh, this presentation i'm just showing the basic procedure of construction and the profiles what we can with or uh, how we can draw the cam and for uh, hey, displacement diagram so although we know that the follower can be made to have a different type of desired motion known as a uh, no a knowledge of existing motion programmers uh, save the time and labor while designing the cam the following are the basic displacement programs or you can say displacement diagrams uh, based on the motion so first one simple harmonic motion so while designing uh, there is uh, some nomenclatures are there so ex uh, we, uh, we can uh, directly go to the construction so here the displacement diagram is shown so initially uh, to calculate or you can say to draw a displacement diagram you should know what what is the exact value or how much distance of follower rises okay second one 
the cam angles where uh, it may be fall it may be rise it may be dwell so we should know how the construction for construction we should know the cam angle also so first of all draw a semi uh, semicircle with the cam rise or we can fall based on the diameter this is usually known as a harmonic circle divide this circle into the equal parts second divide the cam displacement interval into equal parts so hum log jitna semicircle ka parts bana rahe hai utna hi hame uh, displacement interval ka bhi banana hai in this figure we have made six division or six number of parts of circle hemi, uh, sorry semicircle as well as the interval then project the intercept of the harmonic semicircle to the corresponding division of the cam displacement intervals join the points uh, with a smooth curve to obtain a harmonic curve so with this construction you can find out the profile for simple harmonic motion second one the constant acceleration and deceleration that is a parabolic uh, <coughs> motion of the follower or cam in such a follower there is a acceleration in the first half of the follower whereas it is this this uh, a uh, deceleration during the second half or latter half the displacement curve is found to be a parabolic in a case the magnitude of the acceleration of deceleration in the same and constant in a two different halves so in the figure b the construction is shown uh, in top there is a uh, displacement and cam angle so that we can uh, find out or we can get such a profile okay so construction how could we can construct the profile that can be shown in figure b last one the construction is uh, given divide each half of the cam displacement interval into equal divisions divide half of the follower rise into n square equal divisions here it is shown total length jo tha that we have divided into eight parts and jo total uh, rise jo hai that is uh, we indicated by h it is also we have uh, divided into sim, uh, equal parts the project i square displacement interval to the first obtain ordered of the cam displacement that is 2 square to the second order and 2 raised to 3 raised to 2 is for third order so based on the division when you connected this point when uh, point number 1 of uh, vertical get uh, connected with the point number 1 on a horizontal then it it is automatically get a tracing point so just find out the stressing point okay so based on this stressing point you can find a smooth curve next one the constant velocity the constant velocity of follower implies that the displacement of follower is a proportional to the cam displacement and the slope of a displacement curve is a constant okay how it is how we can calculate that is shown over here and it is a simple uh, straight line straight in the same curved line next one is a very important and complicated is a cycloid type the cycloid is the locus of the point on the circle rolling or on a straight line in the construction as shown in figure divide the cam displacement interval uh, interval into n equal parts that we have divided into eight parts draw the dialog uh, diagonal of the diagram and extend it below which is shown here we have also uh, converted eight parts of the circle and this can be uh, based on the diagonal and it is uh, directly implanted or isko humne kya kiya hai diagonal jo hai that is 
शोन ओवर हियर दिस इज द डायगोनल तो ये डायगोनल के जो भी एंगल्स मिला है उसके हिसाब से ये वाले जो पॉइंट है वो हमने प्लॉट किए हैं सो द सर्कल ड्रॉ अ सर्कल विद अ सेंटर एनी वेयर ऑन द लोअर पोर्शन ऑफ द डायगोनल सच एज इट इज सर्कम्फरेंशियल इज इक्वल टू द फॉलोअर डिस्प्लेसमेंट दैट इज टू पाई आर इज इक्वल टू एच सो बेस्ड ऑन यू कैन फाइंड आउट द रेडियस डिवाइड द सर्कल इन टू एन इक्वल आर्स एंड नंबर दे फिगर हियर वी हैव ऑल्सो डिवाइडेड इन टू एट सेगमेंट और यू कैन से एट पार्ट एंड द नंबर इज प्रॉपरली प्रोजेक्ट द सर्कल पॉइंट टू इट्स अ वर्टिकल डायमीटर एंड देन इन अ डायरेक्शनल डायरेक्शन पैरल टू द डायगोनल ऑफ द डायग्राम and corresponding you get a test points and based on that you can draw a smooth curve based on that those test points next one uh, why we are normally used the cam and follower we should know the basic importance of the cam and follower in the field of mechanical engineering the cam and follower plays a very significant role in achieving even the distribution uh, distribution of forces in a single machine component by attaching a cylindrical roller, roller in the machine component spontaneously the moment can be achieved by an engineer the cam and follower be used in a machine component regardless of the shape and the size of nut apart from that the varieties of linear motion can be found by utilizing the mechanism moreover due to the high thickness as compared to the other bearing cam follower mechanism can be absorb a high amount of shock that increases the mechanical efficiency of mechanical component furthermore the mechanism is entirely versatile that it can be used in a soda mechanism or also in aircraft application so besides the mechanism we can use anywhere so also we can use in a belt conveyor mechanism also in the case of engines uh, the bearing of bearing load of the camshaft can be easily uh, devised by utilizing the fundamental approach of camshaft bearing although the flat followers are used by the engineer to operate the wall of the engine whereas the roller followers are used by the engineer in oil and stationary engines application of cam and follower uh, it is very important to know that in which application we are designing the cam and follower so for that basically we should know the application or where the cam and followers are going to be used so basically they are using an ic engine to close and open the outlet and inlet walls then automated type of machinery cam and followers are used in a different parts which can be automated the motion in hydraulic system the main mechanism is cam and follower mechanism in that case the mechanism is depend upon the fluid pressure in the printing machinery the mechanism of cam and follower help the screen to the printed the push helps to take the position whereas the printing will be done and pull helps to print on that in the textile type of um, machinery the mechanism of cam and follower helps to stitch the cloth by push and pull movement of maku that is a uh, a particular mechanism which is used in a textile machinery then screw pieces of machinery uh, then gear cutting machinery uh, then wall clock and automatic lathe machine so in this application we are generally using the cam and follower so here i am completing the basic theory which is required uh, for designing of the cam and follower uh, in next lecture we will discuss with the problem 
uh, how we can design cam follower then the parts or components of the cam and follower mechanism uh, how we can draw a cam profile so these points will be covered in next lecture so thank you very much for joining this lecture